two armies, the US Army or the Marines with the K-Bar USMC and the Austrian Army with their Glock 78. We all know armies are solely ranked on the performance of their knives. Last week we tried out the Glock 78 aka the Austrian Army knife and found that it was better than the K-Bar USMC. What? Better than to let these two knives fight it out mano a mano. Or knife a knifey. Yes. Oh, hi there! Hi there! Yeah, we actually wanted to make a video about a different knife, but um, the knife maker got into an accident, sadly, so we had to make a, a different knife video, and we thought it would be the perfect chance to make a video about the Glock 78 against the K-Bar USMC. If you are in the army and Tell us what knife you use, because I'm living in the Netherlands, I don't know. But for this video, the, the, the US Army, or at least the Marine Corps, uses this knife. And that, I don't yeah. know anything else, because that's what I looked in up In the Netherlands the we all use the TRC Apocalypse, yeah. Yeah, what, yeah, what can I, I I can, yeah, that's why we win all wars. <laughs> but first a very quick word of our sponsor, Tools of Gents. Hey Martin, Martin, there are a lot of gentlemen watching this video, what should they do? Go to Tools for Gents. First test is going to be batoning, and I've got one piece of wood which we probably batoned last time. I'm going to do the hard piece with the Glock and the, 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 the easy piece with the K-Bar. And I, my prediction is that the Glock is going to baton the harder piece here more easily. It really was a hard piece. Well, gosh darn it. That was really amazing again. That knife is uh, it's really impressing me. That's what I said the last time as well. Okay, maybe it wasn't that easy, but unfair. I really got a shit. <laughs> but I got a little bit of diarrhea because I ate Jeez. curry. I ate curry last night. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> See you later, dudes. <laughs> okay, so we have two exactly the same halves. Well, first with the K bar. Alrighty then. Wait, everything is done gangster in this video. Yeah, it is easier, but to be honest, not way easier. It's yeah. not a world of difference. I would say that the, the Glock is a 7.5 out of 10, and uh, that one may be a 6.5 out of 10. Okay. Two big differences between these knives are the hardness of the steels and the price. The Glock 78 seemed to be better and three times as cheap, but the steel of the K-Bar is harder. So in theory, it should hold an edge better. Each knife made 15 feather sticks with 20 feathers. Let's see which one is the sharpest after this test. DBK shopping, make your hair popping. Whoa, DBK nice shall don't come. Yeah? Uh, yeah that's sharp. That is sharp. Boom. Right off the bat, the Glock was better at feather sticking. But right when it was done, I found something very weird. Every Jesus, normal. what the f? Wat? Ja, gast, de grootste fucking fire shield. Nee, ik heb de hele grap heb je gezien. Ik heb en I just found the biggest fire shield of all time. Oh, dit was what the hell? How is this? What is this? It was meant to be a joke. That was for the fire making. I would woke out with that, and you suddenly found it. Kijk nou, look at this, ladies and gentlemen. Is this available at DeepKeyShop.com? No. Wow. With its own storage device. Device. For a, Whoa, a, it's got it's got a storage capacity. Yeah. Normally you wouldn't just put a surprise like <laughs> on the desk <laughs> where everybody can find it. I thought it's, I hit it. Who did was that? $250. <laughs> you paid $250 for this joke and it failed. We paid $250 for it. What? <laughs> See it? Yeah. We both. Yeah, you and me. I paid, ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> this cost me $125. <laughs> Please join our Patreon. <laughs> um, we need it.
Oké, okay. one rope, one rope cut. Oké, okay, that's okay. absolutely not cutting paper anymore. Is it equally as bad or what? It feels slightly better, but it can also be because of the thinner geometry. And I yeah, yeah, it's, it's just as bad. And this is after 10 strops per knife. The Glock. Way better. Ooh! Ah, so, the cable will probably be because it's thinner, more easily restorable. Yeah, but I would say, in general, you will not really notice the difference in steel quality between these two knives. The hardness. Yeah, you won't really notice the difference in real life use. They're both just soft. And also with the carving, the knives seem pretty equal, even though I thought the cable would be better with this task. Look, you being road. <laughs> One flute against your head. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nice. Also, that's very funny, yeah. They really can be used in a practical manner. But again, this knife is five times the price, or three times the price <laughs> as this knife is. That's not good. Because yeah. this knife is almost outperforming this knife on But did you look at aspects. the exact one that you have here with the leather handle or the, the normal one? The black one. Oh yeah, okay. You know, what, what, is black worth less? <laughs> what is this on my channel all of a sudden? <laughs> the black one is worth just as much no, I just as, the, as this one. The, the thin edge of the K-bar does cut better, but because you have so much more control, I, I feel like I have like maybe 200% more control with this knife as with this knife. So with the finer tasks, this just feels way easier and safer and you don't really notice the bi a big difference with how easy it cuts or not. Because we already made full videos on both of these knives, we aren't gonna waste our time doing all that stuff again. Except a small destruction test. We broke the K-Bar USMC with a bat and the Glock could easily withstand that test. And basically the Glock 78 will be the K-Bar in terms of toughness, oh yeah. The Glock also easily could take a shot, so let's see if the K-Bar can handle the same. After a tip test, that is. Look at that. The tip is actually way stronger than I thought. And this I thought it would break in one go, but this knife, actually the tip, was a little weaker than we thought. Especially That's maybe where the 55VS57 HRC shows. Because it might not look like a big difference, well, but Well, no, no, no. The tip is not bending. But I am actually really impressed by this. Yeah, me too. So I would actually give this a win to the K-Bar. Because I didn't expect them to snap off, but I did expect them to bend. Yeah, win goes to the K-Bar. Oh no, nails, 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 nails. Okay, can you shoot it as oh, high as- I think it bent. He shoot it one more time as high as possible near the handle. So it did bend a lot. Okay. It bent a lot. Look at this. Whoa, whoa, whoa. See this? Not really good on camera, but I can see it. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Holy shit. That really bent a lot. Do you think this is close enough to the handle uh, part or not? Jeez, yeah. Conclusion time. Let's go, dude. <laughs> Rasta. So who's the winner? Find out after this Patreon. Hey, you wanna join our Patreon? Why? Because we're doing an amazing giveaway. A new giveaway, brand new, spanking new. We are giving away the Falkneven NL2 Odin, thanks to DBK. The Navajas Barudo Belmis, thanks to Tools for Gens. The Falkneven A1X, thanks to Blade HQ. The Roselli Leuku, thanks to Roselli. 
the Lirond Cutters and Gyms, thanks to Lirond. And a $250 giant handmade fire steel, thanks to the scrawny lumberjack. For me, I'm staying with this as the winner. I would say so. But, as well. but, Mickey, I have to say because I was totally, completely done with the K bar. Yeah. And in this video, it did prove to me that if you do not stress it in a lateral, lateral yeah. way, it does an okay job for most of the things. I thought this, this knife was weak. Really weak. I thought yeah. it was really weak, and now actually doing the tip test, it surprised me that it actually held up in a tip test. Let me just check if the camera is filming. It is filming. The tip test actually blew me away because I was certain that it would bend like straight away because it's really yeah. thin, the tip. So it does say that if you like the design of this knife, if you think it's cool, it is worth buying. It won't, it will not break on you yeah. easily. And, but this knife for, for only the money. a third of the price the of this knife, yeah. this knife is a beast. And let me tell you, this, this knife is, I have to say, it does look more bent than it was. But the fact that this was already bent because of the use, yeah. that will not just not happen with this knife. This yeah. knife is gonna break if we bend it back because we yeah. have that video clip yeah, yeah, of yeah. your knife. But Mickey, but this knife, it is almost indestructible. It, it, it could handle everything yeah. you want it to. But and I mean, if you buy a combat knife, as a combat knife, this might also win. But if you buy for looks, this one looks way cooler. Yeah, way cooler. This is like the knife that you dream of as a kid. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for watching. Every Thursday, 1 p.m. BDT, please leave a comment, please. This is our webshop. Thanks to all for sponsoring. Okay, bye.